We're here at Operation Sparks um, showcase event for uh, what is today's July 18th, 2024. And we've got cohort I and H, right? H and I yes. tonight. Cool. So um, let's start with Jess. I'm going to ask you some questions because you're both grads, aren't you? Yes. Like, yeah. yeah. So when did you graduate, Jessa? Oh, November 2020. 20. Oh, my God. Like, oh so that was God. right in the middle of the pandemic. It was yes. like the peak of yes. crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, wow. OK. And then and then you joined up Spark right out of immersion right yeah. yeah yeah started doing a little work on help desk and then just fell in love yeah <laughs> like lose track of time helping folks and yeah stuck around since then <laughs> nice nice so now it's been we're going on well this november would be four years right yeah okay yeah, congrats to us yeah it's been a fun fun time yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's for you <laughs> <laughs> I'll just add that. Uh, no, I, I, no, I'm, I'm, don't, I'm only messing. Okay, so Katie, when, you, when, when did you graduate? Uh, just a couple months later. I think that was oh, March wow. of 2021. Yeah. So, so yeah. were you in overlapping cohorts, kind of thing? Were you guys in the program at the same time? Did you know each other? Probably. We didn't. We didn't know each other. I think we were too far apart for that. But yeah. we were probably yeah. in it at the same time. Yeah, and Katie, you joined up Spark right away too, right? Did we hire you right out, out of the thing? Did yeah, you or did you go work right first? Away. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, and so Jessa, how did you learn about OpSpark? I had been on the hunt for opportunities to train and get another, you know, sort of training certification, start a new career. Yeah. And I wasn't really sure about what route to take. But then I ran into someone who knew someone who had completed Operation Spark. Nice. <laughs> And um, they started telling me about it. I'm like, wow, this sounds pretty magical, you know, yeah. and it's happening right here in Louisiana. Let me do some digging. Yeah. Um, I attended an information session and got a chance to meet the crew, and it was instantly a connection. I was like, this is, this is real, and I researched a few of the alum who were doing well in the industry. Yeah. I was like, wow, they're so much like me. Um, wow. And... Uh, you know, if they could do it, I can do it too. They were telling me that as well. Yes. <laughs> so I was awesome. like, let's just dive in and see what happens and That's awesome. haven't looked back. Yeah. And so, um, Katie, what about you? How did you hear about it, the program? I had. Because you're from up north, right? I'm not from up north. Oh. I, Army brat, so okay. kind of all okay. over, but yeah. spent most of my time here. Okay. Um, but I had a lot of friends that had come through the program. Wow. So um, when the pandemic hit, my job kind of went away. It was in the wedding industry. Oh, yeah. And I uh, needed to find something else to do, and I knew that a lot of them had gone through it, so I knew that it was legit. Yeah. <laughs> and and you, they had but great you, jobs you, after. Yeah, you had a background in design, though, huh? Is that what yeah. you were doing before? Yeah, so it was, it was a pretty smooth transition yeah. in that sense. And and Jessa, what about you? Were you in tech at all? Did had you had you had experience with coding or whatever? Uh, very um, out the box, you know, um, <laughs> jailbreaking iPhones, you know, wow. installing <laughs> AOL, okay, <laughs> you know, that okay. sort of stuff. So just tinkering with technology for yeah. as long as I can remember. But I'd worked in retail forever. Uh, but somehow it's still yep. that person at my job who yep. folks call for technical issues with their computers yep. and things like that. So just an an interest in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so when you guys got into the program, how did you find the ramp up into like, say, um, you know, going from prep, which is the introductory thing where you're kind of learning about yeah, just procedural coding in general, like how, you know, everything from variables to functions, then going, <laughs> to, you know, straight into boot camp where it's like functional programming. Was that, how was that for y'all's? Petrifying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? But, you know, you talk to your friends, you talk to people yeah. who are in the class of in the ahead of you, and they're like, it's it's going to be fine. You're going to get it. It's going to click. And then yeah. it does. And you're like, oh, they were right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I know more than I thought I did. <laughs> yeah. And so and so was there a moment where it did click where you were like, oh, OK, f I get it. Like, uh, you know, recursion or, you know, reduce. I understand, you know, I, I you know. I'm passing a function around. It's got a closure. What? How, how, when? When? When was that moment for you that you were like, "Oh yeah, I have a really big milestone in understanding." How about you, Jessa? Yeah. Um, for me, I remember my instructor at the time uh, sharing that you know, so 
some folks are find that reduced and high order functions are much easier than recursion. You know, it's kind of like split down the middle. I think recursion came a little bit easier for me. Wow. But it was um, reduced. Oh yeah, yeah. That I just I couldn't wrap my head around. Yeah. And um, <laughs> now was it the design of reduce or the usage of it? Like where to use it? Uh, both, mm-hmm. both. Mm-hmm. Um, I often wanted to revert to the higher order functions I found to be easier, like map, right. you know, filter, right. things like that to get stuff done. Yeah. Um, but it was the advice of um, another graduate who had been working helped us, and he shared oh. a resource. And he was like, yo, you know, watch this video code along with it, you know, and um, don't stop writing it. Nice. You know, like it's challenging you. Don't, you know, what put it down. What was the resource, I wonder? It was, <laughs> it was, um, it was either the code train or fun, fun function. Those are my go-to guys on YouTube. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. But I just would like play it again and again and write it over and over nice. again until it just, yeah, uh, until it clicks. It's slippery, some of the stuff, but yeah. once it, once you, ha- once I feel like it's like, it's a little bit like you know. There's 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 actually, I mean, there's a lot to learn, but there's almost like not that much to learn in programming. It's kind of like if you, if you look at the basic tools in carpentry, you got a hammer, you got a saw, what else? Like you got a screwdriver. Yeah. What you know, you just sort of identify what problem does that tool solve? When do I pick up that tool? You yeah. know, and that's kind of like the deal I feel like with programming. Once you're on the other side of it, once you kind of have that familiarity, then it's like, oh, uh, you know, I got it. Wha- wha- yeah. Now I now it, now it's just on to the creative stuff. You know, like what what do I how do I creatively solve some problems and so on and so forth. So how about you, Katie? When what was a like a milestone for you when you were in um, immersion or or any any phase of it? I can think of a couple, and a lot of times it was when I was working with someone who was not necessarily the instructor, like hearing it from a different Uh point, or maybe it was the Saturday instructor. They would come in and Uh describe it in a completely different different way, way, and it was just like, that makes sense to me. You know, I thought that was so cool that you had all these different people that you could talk to, so if it wasn't making sense in one way you could reach out to someone else and they could explain it to you in another way. Wow. So now both of y'all are working here. You're on the other side. You see how the sausage is made. It's mostly uh, organic and and, uh, <laughs> and all good ingredients. <laughs> wow. How does it feel? You know, what what is it like when you're working with students now who might be where you were, you know, when you started out? Uh, Jessa, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely uh, the favorite part of the work I do for me. Um, yeah. I remember being in their shoes, you know, not necessarily sure if I was talented enough, smart enough. Um, as I was being challenged, you yeah. know, yeah. Every, it seemed like everything around me was saying, no, this isn't this isn't working. But then understanding more about engineering in general, you know, yeah. it is about being comfortable with failure. Um, so it is is really my pleasure to help folks yeah. understand that building up that callousness to uh, being challenged being willing to approach the problem yeah even if it's something that you haven't seen before right. is where the money is it's where <laughs> the growth is so yeah. I, I enjoy helping folks to actualize that for themselves yeah. yeah and so like like now like both of y'all y'all have been working here coming on four years almost right like three and a half years right now so that means you've coached a lot of people through the program, uh, like yeah. almost double like that. In the last three years, we've probably graduated 200 people. Wow. Yeah, because we <laughs> were at about 200 sometime around 2020, yeah. you know, maybe cu- coming into 2021. So that means like you all have worked with a lot of people who have now launched careers and you've seen them like you work a lot with folks coming from the front end of the program, right, Jessa? Yeah. 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 And then and then Katie's on the senior end of the program managing like well the projects that everyone's going to see tonight, the thesis hey, projects and all got that. the bookends here. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you know, Jessa, you're working with students all through, you know, coaching people all through the the program. So yeah. running alongside them. How does that feel? Say. Like you think about that for a minute, like 200 people around you know, you think about in 2 years, 200 people, that's a lot of students. Are a lot of grads. That's a lot of folks that have 
are now out there working who who you know if they had gone the university route or whatever like they'd still be in school <laughs> and now they're out there working and you both contributed to their careers in an immense way in coaching so how does that feel i mean it's pretty sweet i think that's why we all do it yeah because we yeah. all just want to see them yeah. better their lives and they came to us with that goal and we're just here to help them get there yeah I'll say too, like over the, like, I feel like this is the best team we've ever had. I'll say that. And also, <laughs> and, and, um, the, the longest we've ever had kind of the same crew, you know, which I'm really grateful for, you know, it's hard to keep good people. Um, so hopefully, you know, the work is enjoyable and, and you're not burning out on it because we, we would love to keep you both for forever. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is, it's got to be challenging. There's got to be a lot of challenging moments. And then there's got to be a lot of creative and kind of like a night like tonight where you get to see, you know, oh, my God, these, these you know, they, they knew nothing, these, ca these cats, six, seven months ago. And now they're, you know, completing a pretty cool project and, and showing it off from start to finish, you know. So that, that must be pretty cool every time. I, lo I love seeing these grad showcases. And I'm not even that close to the, I'm not in the trenches anymore. But when they come around and I see the showcase, I'm like, this is awesome. It's amazing what uh, y'all can do. So I don't know, what do you got, what do you got to say to, to future students? Or um, yeah, what's, what's a couple of things you would say to someone starting a program now? Yeah, um, the hardest part is getting started. Uh, the hardest part is trusting yourself enough because um, we're going to, the proof is there for us. We've done it for so many different people yeah. from all walks of life, so you can easily find yourself in the body of alum. Yep. Uh, now it's up to you to take the chance on yourself, uh, yeah. not be afraid of the challenge. Uh, it's going to be difficult. Uh, you're welcome for that, like John <laughs> <laughs> often says. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, that's by design because we'll, we want you to leave here able to uh, go well beyond what we thought was yeah. possible for your career. So, Yeah. Um, what about you, Katie? Yeah, I mean, what are you waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and it, I will echo what Jess has said. It is going to be tough, and that is on purpose, but you will not regret any second of it. Yeah. Are you all getting to do some coding still or getting your hands um, dirty with any stuff that you have enjoyed in the last little while? I've been uh, automating some things for myself, yeah, <laughs> nice. okay. yeah. which is fun, you know, making yeah. little tools that do all the sure. little monotonous things, yeah. but yeah. Um, I'm about to start working them into kind of our instructor tools that we use Very cool. um, across the board so that everyone yeah. else can use them too. Yeah. How about you, Jess? Are you doing, yeah, yeah. I've seen both of your work, actually, to be honest. Like, sometimes <laughs> I see the spreadsheets or whatever the tools that, that you're building. I'm always like, this is nice and clean and awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, very similar to Katie. Just, yeah. you know, things behind the scenes to make processes more efficient, yeah. you know, automate some things. You know, when there's a lot yeah. to do, we got to find ways to streamline it, you know. So, uh, that's where I am currently. But looking forward to, you know, collab collaborating on the alumni yeah. projects that are coming up yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got some pretty cool ideas for that. So, I'm yeah. excited to jump in there. Yeah, well, I got to say, uh, you know, I've said it uh, like the last, you know, I don't know, eight months or so, I've been getting to meet the rising grads in, you know, working with them on, on various, like like when they are, are um, going through the job hunt phase, you know, we do mock interviews and that kind of stuff. So I get, get to know them at that end of the program. And I got to say, like, they're so well prepared now, it, you know, like I'm asking them questions and I'm asking them questions, you know, I'm like really digging in on some of the stuff because I want them prepared for interviews. And when they go out there, they got to sound confident yeah. as in they actually have to know what they're talking about when they're when they're going to the interview. It doesn't they don't have to be, you know, in a place where they are a specialist already. But if they know if they've used React, they got to know React. They got to know why this is, a, you know, the hip library right now to be using or these kinds of things. And they do. So I got to say, like, the preparation on all fronts has just really, you know, improved so dramatically over the years. So I got to congratulate you both, yeah. you know, for the, for the work. It's, it is, it's really impressive to see it. And I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm asking questions <laughs> yeah. when they're there. So they, they're just, they sound so confident. They know what they're talking about. 
even though they've only been, you know, seven, eight months into working on this level with code. So it's, it's really impressive to see. So I just want to congratulate you both and thank you for the great work that you've done over the past four years, three and Absolutely. a half years about Spark. So yeah, right. I think that's, that's really why they're able to, you know, we're, we're able to push them and spend more time with them because we all trust each other on staff because we have worked together for so long. Yeah. It's a well-oiled machine. Like, we are just so good at working with each other. We know our quirks and yeah. how to work with each individual person. You don't have to waste time yeah. trying to, to figure out the communication style there. So yeah. all of our main focus can be on the students. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Well, I want to thank you both for spending a little time in this little cozy corner over here at OpSpark. I admire you both, and I'm, I'm grateful you're here. And, uh, yeah, stick around forever. Yeah, the feeling is mutual. And... Uh, Looking forward to many years. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking forward to the show tonight. So, yeah, yeah. very some fun. See you both there. See you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On my way. <laughs>